all right it's been probably a couple couple weeks since i've been back on pacific drive uh i haven't really gotten all that uh all that new stuff i mean uh i don't know if i showed this did i show this i got a resource radar but i think other than that uh also i painted the car red um and i have a new battery and also i have uh i probably showed this before but i have an expanded back seat tank thing that basically i have more fuel and i have more battery it's the only thing i'm concerned with and i was able to get the car uh decked out in all um also i got new bio headlights which these things drain the battery so that explains why i needed a new battery because they they kept draining so the car is probably half radiated half uh radiant resistant and half corrosive resistance but i i haven't really gotten a chance to test it out uh i've been back to the the inner area once probably once or twice i've just been really just i've been just being careful the whole time i haven't really been haven't really been uh what you say being uh outlandish All right, anyway, uh, let's go towards where we need to go. Let's just get on with the story, right? I think that's what people are here for. Uh, I think everything is good to go. All right, let's head to where we have to go. Oh god, okay, so I have to go through here, go through here, go through there. Yeah, I just have to make my way upwards. yeah also i don't really need unstable energy anymore i need corrupted energy so i need to just focus on getting corruption and the only way to do that is to get to the next area or uh increase the uh get to the new area or progress the storyline and i think i need to progress the storyline so i'm probably just gonna cut to me just getting to the the area I need to go to. So I'll see y'all then.
all right we didn't make it we didn't make it quite to the um to where i need to go but it's the second area and do i have a flat tire no i don't okay okay i thought i had a flat tire never mind um we're not we're close to where we need to go but i just wanted to see uh see if i can get anything here i still need some extra supplies so figured i might as well god i hate I hate dirt roads so much. Where do I have to go? I have to go up there. All right. But I'm also going to get actually hang on. So yeah, me leaving these on. Oh, well, I guess it's a good idea. I had the capacity battery. Because uh, my regular battery with those lights, it was draining the hell out of it. It was it was bad. And the lag going on, a little bit of a lag. Maybe yeah, I need these. Uh, what are these? Marsh eggs? I think I I need these. I need these in tree candy. I have a little bit of acid resistance too. Not completely, but you know, just a just a little bit, just enough to just enough to not currently screw me over. I have to be really careful in this area, especially at night. I think it's dangerous when it's at night. I can barely see shit. So these aren't really like too. I mean, I could go around this, but they're not. They just lift me up in the air. Did that thing take something of mine? Hold on. I think this, I think these, these things take sheep. Right? Oh no, they just make my car go wonky. I don't really, I don't really enjoy that. Oh, these guys. Do these things move? Hang on, let me see. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, we got this area. Or this specific... This specific area. But I also need to... Be aware... That thing does fuck up my car. I also want to get these eggs. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off. This is a thermal hand. Uh, this is a thermal vacuum. Yeah, I really don't want it to mess with my car. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm getting out of here. Oop, that thing's getting closer. I think once it touches my car, it's gonna fuck me up. Am I even going around? Where am I going? Well, 
fuck are these? Oh shit. How the hell are these wipers on? What the hell are they talking about on the radio? Talking about tea? I would appreciate it if Okay, we're just gonna I'm just gonna cut everything off. Oh boy. Kinda creepy out here. I don't need any more lead. I have a lot of lead. To be honest with you. Not really concerned about that. I need these. I need an absurd amount. that's that's all wish I could do some of these giant warps but I guess I can't oh well let's go over to the next area Why does the storm come in too? Yeah, I got a even more reason to hightail it out of here. <clears throat> God, I hate when things are like right in front of the goddamn road. Like just right in front of it. God, I hate, I hate dirt roads so much, dude. The road is like this. I can't wait to see what the other area has to offer when I get to it. All right. And by other area, I mean this area, not the area I'm going to, but pretty sure I'm going to. This is probably like the entry. All right, first time in this entire area. I've never been here before. And it's got stability. Nice. Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. You see them? Yeah, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the missions? Sure oh, am. 
We're going to use this my optical vasalizer. We shouldn't use that. Why not? I mean, it's, it's, it's been decades. It's, it, no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing up in secret, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's gonna be a surprise for your birthday. <laughs> oh, I've got ahead a minute. Any bitty modification to your headset, Triva. I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. I hate, I hate mayonnaise. Uh, what, what are you using the vasilizer for? Uh, no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Drive. Get ready to feast your eyes on the visions. <laughs> the what? The visions? What are you talking about? The painter. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Ada as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like I have no else. idea where I'm going. But for her. I need to get back on the road. Stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, what? Anna wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants in the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Sorry if I'm not really saying nothing. I'm kind of, I always sound dead in my videos, but I don't know. I'm not really in a talking mood right now. Not not because of like anything bad or whatever. Just uh... all Ah, the Bigfoot mural. <laughs> my personal favorite. What the hell? Okay. Can I? I mean, is it just me or did this mural look different before? Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades after all. Nah, uh, something's... Something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip heard... that way? Uh, I heard a growl. Why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? I heard a growl. I heard a fucking growl, bro. Am I? Uh, a driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No. Oh, but whoa! What the fuck? It might look. <laughs> You're speaking from personal experience, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid zone and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself! And the vision foretold its arrival in the zone! It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. Then, the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started that didn't attract much attention on their own. Tell me this now. Until the first footprints were found, the Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But, they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. 
Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigating. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them, no question. Oh, come on, all eight at once? How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. Okay. Oh, this is where your theory comes in, Francis. Uh, you tell him. Oh, <laughs> look at me babbling away, Francis. You, you, you explain it. It's, it's so good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of creeped out right now. I'd rather not. Come on, we talked about this. You should be proud of your word. Toot your own horn. I, 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 not this time. Okay, well, uh, Francis' theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomenon that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, some physical after effects. How did you explain it? It was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And what a better time than now to try it again. Dude, I can't even see the road. I feel like I'm on the road, but you know what? I'm just gonna go off road. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright. What is that? Is that. Oh, it's a pickpocket. Oh, shit. Okay. It's a pickpocket. Alright, I am not gonna mess with that because that is gonna steal. Gonna steal most of my shit. I'm gonna try to go around it. Alright. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Ah. Okay. Yeah, those things are harmless. Okay, the doorway mural. I'm seeing Mount Everest. Let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That shape right there. Is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes. Well, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus. St. Francis? I told you your basilizer would work. I, I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Yeah, I keep hearing fucking keep hearing shit, dude. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame, out in the wilderness with nothing around it. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. I don't want to talk about it. He was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. 
It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens, and everything near it is turned inside out. Oof. Its victims are mostly bears, squirrels, and birds. They all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's Ew. Not from the sea. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning, and and. No, 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 no. We're done here. Try it. You see when you stay away from it. That's all you need to know. Let's go. Yeah. Fuck that shit. I'm not going in there. But I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. He died here. That's unstable. I need corrupted. I still don't know why you're so convinced they existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and reemerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Damn. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. And you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? Uh, it doesn't add up. Otis' favorite pastime was carting people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash and the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. I feel like I got a flat tire, dude. Or like one of my... Yeah, there it is. God damn it. I don't even think I can make it. Ah, uh, I can't make it. That's that's sad. That's so sad, actually. <sighs> Cause I don't have a lot of time to be here, dude. I'll just have to deal with it. This is why all puncture-proof tires are probably better. But they don't do well on the fucking road. I have to go through this. There's no mannequins here. I actually forgot to put all this shit in there. Um, it's unstable. I don't want that. Let's go get those marsh eggs. Wait, how much, uh, shit, I only have one, uh, I only have one med kit. That yeah, kind of sucks. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> Alright. 
keep hearing shit, dude. Kind of freaking me out, not gonna lie to you. Let's get to this last mural, which is, oh my god, am I going to have to cross? Oh, I'm going to have to cross some shit. Okay, I might have to get out. I'm going to have to drive the car as far as it can go over there. And then just, uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to walk away. <clears throat> Should be okay, though. Yeah, that's alright. Is that swamp coral over there? It is. I'm gonna go after it. I think it is. I need a lot of these actually. It's, these are the ones that I have a hard time getting and finding. see it it's right, right here oh, bingo see that pattern in the last mural that flower only grows above a, a certain elevation put the three locations together and you've got a square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone huh the visions were pointing towards something the entire time <laughs> hey Abby, you can stop pretending to ignore us now Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. Know what? Happy? Mm. Got my story to share. Mm. Oh, hold on. There's some tea that needs to be spilled. Spill the tea. Spill the tea, come on. That basilizer, they're um, illegitimate. Wait, wh what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So, I forged the data. Ooh. Not much, just enough to justify more time. Ooh. I, I was so close, I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. Ooh. But Arda found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Damn. You told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants access those imprints. Thread them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You... You don't have to do that. It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. But listen. I've got this suspicion, right? If we can just get the car to the mass hallucination source, we'll find 
they can prove your theory. It's worth a try, isn't it? I'm tired of trying, Tobias. I've tried all my life, and it didn't go so well. Look, I don't have one of those fancy degrees that you and Oppie have. The closest I ever got to science was wiping down your lab benches. <laughs> but I saw the incredible things that you did with your research. Yeah, well, Arda didn't think they were incredible. I don't care about Arda. I believe in you. Always have. Aww. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do this with her. Oppie led the disciplinary committee that stripped my clearance and demoted me to a glorified intern. She sat there oh, wow. and decided how best to humiliate me. I never asked for anything. This one time I do, so I would I would never have to talk to Oppie again. You didn't listen. Your remnant was more important than what I wanted. Francis, I didn't mean Damn. I had enough. <laughs> Damn, got some drama going on. Uh, let's, uh, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll come around. Sorry, driver. We'll, um, we'll see you back at the auto shop. Hey, I'm just, I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> like, I'm just, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm gonna have to drop through this shit again. Sorry, dog. Okay, I need to get these bigger ones. That. Let's go search over here in this house. So he feels bad because he has like beef with her because she led the committee that ultimately led him to getting him demoted. I can I can understand his feelings, dog. Like, like I I kind of understand where he's coming from. Like I wouldn't like I don't really I wouldn't really want to work together with anybody who like you know demoted me or didn't give me the time of day. You know what I mean? Like you don't really want to associate with that kind of people with, them, with those kind of people. I, I understand that. Like from the way he makes it sound, he makes it sound like like they like straight up like humiliated him in front of everybody. Which, Oppie, that's kind of fucked up. Like don't don't do that. All right, how much is this gonna give me? Uh, oh, gave me just enough. Nice. Now, do I want to get more? I mean, I'm, I'm not even far away. I need to search for more, to be honest with you. Not, well, not more of these the unstable shit, but more. Uh, I mean, I still have time, right? I should have some. I should. I should have enough time. Hopefully. Uh, damn, it's like off, off road. Most of these things are off road, dude. I have to be careful now to get my car stuck. Oh shit! Oh shit! I gotta get right. I gotta get away from that thing because that thing steals shit. Alright, here we go. Just, just stay right here. 
Pretty farm park. I like to leave the car running. I don't know if that's like the map itself or what. Where did it go? I'm about to die. That was not a good idea. Okay, let's first say seventy one. It's okay. It's okay. I need these swamp cores, dude. A lot of them. But I hate the fact that they like disappear. Like they like sink back into the tree. It's kind of stupid. How many of these do I have? Oh, I have a couple of these. And I think, and, and then some. Okay. All right. I think what I'll try to do. Can I link a gateway? It's the closest gateway to me, or the furthest away, I should say. Are you that one? All right, I'll pick this up and then try to get the oh shit, try to get the fuck out of here. There we go. Okay. So, what I'll try to do is I'll go to that gateway over there. I'm gonna try to do it anyway. I just gotta get... I just gotta get far enough. Let's start. Son of a bitch. I didn't even see that. I'm gonna get back to this road. All right, so we should be good. All right, I'm gonna use uh yeah, transfer all those shit. Um, 
I got this battery charger, which I didn't mean to get. I didn't mean to get, but that's whatever. All right, we're still doing good on fuel. And uh, I forgot to, I'm gonna use that blow torch too. Yeah, there's a blow torch. I can make blow torches now. Uh, let me just fix everything up. Everything that needs fixing up, I guess. Alright, I think we saw it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Up that gateway. And then we just drive. Oh yeah. Again, I didn't really need unstable energy. But that was unfortunate. Hang on, this shit is gaining. Look at this shit is gaining kind of fast. Well, the yellow, the the yellow storm, I can, the yellow radiation I can take. It's the red one that that kind of fucks me up. Exactly why I have let, I have radiant radiation resistance on my shit. I need to go left. I did not. Don't get caught in a tree. Oh, right, yeah, we should be smooth sailor. Oh shit, right in the radiation shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're back. That was smooth. Interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the Arda database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961 in the lab accident. So we were told. Then. I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. A after the structural damage caused by the... Uh, lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. God, I hate saying that. Driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. Red Meadow. The ruins. Alright, I guess we're going to the ruins now. Um. Let me. I need to replace some of this stuff. I need to replace some of this lead, lead plated shit. This shit is like fragile, I think. Uh, 
fax machine. Let's see what we got. Even though it's just nonsense, it's good to check. Okay. Just wanted to replace the shit I had. No, oh, that was a that was a. I think my biggest letdown was I needed uh, to craft. Can I? Oh, I can't repair this. Oh, because it's, no, that sucks. Uh. Okay, well, let's get everything out first. Uh, uh, I don't think we have a lot of swamp coral. I don't think we, I don't think we did. Uh, let's see what the dumpster gives us. That should, nah, fuck it. We'll just leave it in there. Okay, we got nine unstable. But I don't really want anything, to be honest with you. I mean, there's an amp engine to make that. I don't. But it takes my fucking energy. It takes my not my energy. It takes my battery. But the horsepower on it is better. But it, it takes my my battery. But I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Uh, autos tracking spotlight. The movements of my headset, considering my extra flashlight. I don't really know about that. I need corrupted. Yeah, so this is what I'm wearing right now. Uh, okay, there's a large backpack. Lord knows I need that. Is there anything else? There's a magnetic hammer. <laughs> I need a limb magnet for that. Anything that requires swamp coral. Who does the roof below lights? Uh, I don't know. I don't really use the resource. I don't even really use most of this stuff. I'm not trying to like drain my battery. It's a Lazarus. The Lazarus, I think, that could be useful. I could put it off to the side too. It's supposed to, uh, it's supposed to reanimate me. So if I do die, I'm gonna get this as just a just a precaution, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think yeah, it's supposed to resuscitate me if I die. Probably gonna get that large backpack. I think that's what I'm gonna lean towards. I think all the other stuff I I need. Oh, 
Oh wow, I need carbon fiberglass, rubber. I also need plastic for that. It's hard to find plastic in this shit. Eh, just get the large backpack. Fuck it. No well, way I'm able to carry more shit. So, we're going to the Red Meadow. Damn, there's no corrupted energy, dude. It's only unstable. I don't need unstable anymore. Ugh. Again, it's just, I just have to head north. Yeah, I, I just got, <laughs> I got like a lot of med kits just because you never know. Yeah, I know. I need to, my inventory is kind of trash. It's okay though. I can actually make this shit. It's just a matter of me taking plastic. Yes. Eh, whatever. Also, I need to make a ceiling kit. Yeah, uh, one of my sh one of my uh, tires. One of my tires is flat. There we go. Uh, everything else looks good. I think of something else, sorry. Oh, right. I should probably make another thermal if I can. I doubt I can, though. Yeah, I need plastic. Ugh. This fucking set. What's the dumpster gonna give me? Come on, I know you got more than that. I don't care about the canned food. Uh, I don't care about that either. Come on, I know you got more. No? Oh, okay. Oh my god, I have a lot of things, but some of these do not require them. <laughs> yeah, most of the stuff I can't get yet. I just, I need to progress. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, again, I'll try to come back with as many resources as possible. Uh, let me check. Let's start. I don't need this. I don't know why I have the Liberator, because the only time I ever used it is like when I'm taking apart another remnant, revenant, but I'll just keep it there just in case.
All right, I'm gonna cut to where I uh, no same thing I did before. Just cut to where I need to go. So hey, future me, can you just do that for me real quick? Thank you. <laughs>